Hi guys, it's Aristov FPV here with a video about how I designed my FPV plane since it was something asked for quite frequently. I also wish all you guys good health and sunny skies for 2024 which will be a promising year for the channel as well since I already planned and started two build videos already to be released per season and other designs to follow up later. So let's get into how I designed my FPV aircraft. So my most famous design is the V-tail pusher design with its 85 centimeter length fuselage and 1.6 meter wingspan. An era before the V-tail pushers were the V-tail tractors with the same dimensions, which I named the Silent Star series, which were simply tractor variants of my V-tail designs, which were the quietest FPV planes I've ever built. So what was my starting point for building these FPV planes? It all started with the Photon Motor Glider, designed by Ed from Experimental Airlines, which got me inspired to build my first ever RC plane in late 2019. After remembering the basic dimensions to build the arm and wing, fuselage, and conventional tail to create a motor glider, I then started to alter dimensions and experiment with different configurations to eventually create FPV variants, like this one here, the Skyhawk LR, which was a pusher design with an H-tail for increased directional stability and omit rudder control, which turned out very successful. So here's a good comparison of Ed's motor glider design compared to my altered variants for flying long-distance FPV. As you guys see, the foam board fuselage designs have a V-tail instead of a conventional tail, FPV gear installed in the wings or on top of the hatch, and lithium-ion batteries for extended flight durations. And here's Ed's carbon tail boom variant, which I turned into an autonomous UAV variant with its XPS wings instead of foam board, which made it quite light and capable for long-duration FPV flights. Here is the Exxon mid-motor pusher for short to medium range distance flying and FPV training and here is my version of the Exxon with a GPS assisted autopilot, a bigger upper deck for a 12 inch prop and a VTOL at the back and more to it to enhance flying performance and experience. And here's the last example with the Ozone design which is a twin boom pusher and here's my version of it with carbon booms, a bigger fuselage pod and XPS wings which made it to be my most popular build video. But now you guys see how I use the building techniques of experimental airlines to create my own FPV designs. So how I enabled myself to design these without ever using plans was by remembering the build process to create a wing, fuselage and tail section with their specific dimensions. It all starts with the fuselage length of 85 centimeters with my standard of a 2.5 by 3 inch cube dimension to form the fuselage. Then a standard 5 inch cord arm and wing with its wingspan of 1.6 meters in total, so two sections of 80 centimeters. And at last, the stabilizers, which is 45 centimeters for the horizontal and 22 and a half for the vertical stabilizer, being 4 inches at the tip and 6 inches at the root for both. And with these dimensions in mind, I'd get the archetype of a motor glider like the photon design. So, how about calculating the CG to be at the right spot? Well, I don't have to calculate anything when I can just balance a nearly finished fuselage with its battery on my hand or something else and mark where it balances perfectly and then make my marks on the fuselage to mount the wings on there. This is the reason why I built the wings after finishing the fuselage and tail section and have those assembled to each other first along with the electronics to then balance the fuselage with the battery in place to then decide what type of wing I'm designing for its particular spot. So what if I think for myself to build a design with a 2.4 meter wingspan instead of 1.6? How would I know the proper size and dimensions for building the fuselage and tail? Well, I could simply do an example by dividing 100 by the wingspan I would normally build it, which is 1.6, and then multiply by the wingspan I want, which is 2.4. That eventually gives 150, meaning I would upscale every dimension with 150%, or just 1.5. So your fuselage would be 127 centimeters and tail dimensions would be altered by 150% as well. This is a basic example to upscale or downscale dimensions to match certain design aspects, but it's totally fine to design a plane with a greater wingspan on a basic 85 centimeter fuselage section. So this is also how I designed the proper V-tail size for my FPV planes. The root and tip dimensions are the same as the conventional tail, but to get the tail span for each diagonal stabilizer to match the 22.5 cm tail span of the conventional design, I just did basic math and got the span I need to construct the ideal V-tail. And that's about how I designed my FPV planes in a nutshell.
I hope I gave you guys some insight and ideas to simplify your build process. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.